real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Latasha Boswell says the defendant was her Sunday school teacher. And throughout the years, they were extremely close friends. Latasha claims she used to call the defendant mom, but now the defendant is defaming her online by calling her a skanky tramp over a book deal gone bad. So she's suing. Defendant Wendy First says Latasha is delusional and she often lies about having a relationship with Wendy's son. Wendy says after Latasha ended their contract, she asked Latasha not to email her anymore, but she continued to do so, so she's countersuing. Start with you. Okay, Your Honor. Um, I've known Ma first since I was 11 years old. She was my Sunday school teacher. Her oldest son was my first boyfriend. You know, I spent summers at her house. My mother trusted her enough to let me spend gobs and gobs of time with her and her family. Um, after her son graduated, he went to the military. We kind of lost contact. Well, um, we found each other again on Facebook a couple years ago. I, at the time, I built my company. I'm a publisher, and I have 12 books at the current time published that I've um, published myself through my publishing house. Um, as I was talking to her, she told me that she was a survivor of incest and abuse, and she wanted to tell her story. So I told her that she told me she had started many times writing it, but she kept stopping. So I told her if she finished, that I would help her um, publish this book. And we've gone from me calling her mom to her saying I'm like a daughter to her calling me a, a skanky tramp. Um, and disparaging my name every chance she got on social media and tons of emails for several, several months. Plaintiff Latasha Boswell agreed to publish a book for the defendant, but after working tirelessly on the publication, she claims the defendant used social media to defame her. Let me hear from her, ma'am. Yes, um, part of what she's saying is the truth. We met at the church and she did come over to my house. She also is leaving out the fact that she's delusional. The fact that she tells countless people on Facebook that she is going to Hawaii to be with my son. She did move away to Atlanta, and that's how we reconnected again on Facebook about um, me writing a book. All right. Ma'am, what happened? Okay, well, I, I worked tirelessly mm -hmm. on her book. She, she so goes by Magic. Right. As a publisher, um, I designed her cover. I did her layout. Tell me what the agreement was. Let's the agreement there. was that I would publish her book for $250, which, right, uh, okay, right, which my normal package is uh, around $1,000. So I agreed. I said, you just covered the cost of the ISBN, which is, you know, like the, the book social security number. I said, you pay for the ISBN. I'll take care of the rest. I was launching. She was supposed to be my first nonfiction. You know, she was supposed to launch the nonfiction genre. Do you have a copy of the agreement? Did yes, you Yes, I do. I have the anything? contract right here. And I've tagged the parts that are that. relevant right. for you today. Thank you. All right, upon receipt of the author's submission, we'll provide the author with a published ready action plan and our professional opinion define and outline all tasks and items necessary to render the work published ready. So is that what you say? You were to do all the necessary work to render the work published ready? Yes, Your Honor. All right, go right ahead. So what happened? And so she submitted her manuscript to me handwritten, which is something that we never except. Mm -hmm. But because she was my second mom, I helped mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. I even helped All right. What else? Type. So anyway, we got through all of that. When I started sending out the press releases, her cover was so nice. Her press releases were so well done. We got contacted by a major um, network for her to go on a morning talk show. Well, after they contacted her and contacted me about this talk show, this is when everything changed. All of a sudden, she went all Hollywood, all diva. She didn't want to listen to any of the rules and regulations, which, Your Honor, she signed. Um, I have all my authors sign what I call author operations, which is the rules and regulations of our company. She signed and agreed to abide by these rules. What did she fail to do? She failed to, in one part, she was the nasty Facebook post, the social media post. Um, it specifically says that you're not allowed to do that or I can bring you to court. Mm -hmm. I asked her um, to stop. 
when I asked her to stop, she posted it again. Told me I just want to control. I couldn't tell her what to do. What did she do to cause you to sue her for four thousand one hundred and forty dollars well, from a from an agreement that was for two hundred and fifty? Well, Your Honor, okay, this is how we get there. Um, I flew to Florida three mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. um, with money out of my own pocket mm -hmm. to help facilitate her book. Wouldn't you have done that? For the mm -hmm. 250 Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so why did you do it beforehand, before she breached? Because I loved her and oh, because okay. I wanted her, I right. wanted her so book to go So that's a gift. With. That's not part of the contract. What else? So the agreement was that I have legal ramifications if she disparages me on social media, if she disparages my company. It also states that if she is in breach of contract that I can sue for the... What did she breach? That's what I'm asking you. She breached... The part about the social media. Plaintiff Latasha Boswell agreed to publish a book for the defendant, but after working tirelessly on the publication, she claims the defendant used social media to defame her. She breached a contract of $250. That's why I'm trying to see how do you get to $4,000? We, there was marketing and promotion that is a part of that contract that we did, I did for Kinko's. For $250? No, sir. The... How much was that contract the, to be there? It came... No, no, no. What was the agreement on what you're talking about now? We didn't have an agreement oh, okay. per okay. Well, tell us that thanks for the gift. Now, let's get Thank to the agreement. Gift. All you can sue her for today is the agreement. That contract says that marketing and promotion is not a part of the standard Okay, well, contract. how much was that to be? That was the $4,000 that I'm talking and show about. Show me that. Your Honor, she did not agree um, in writing to pay for the but then we amount can't, of time. But then we cannot enforce anything that came verbally after a contract in writing. Okay, can we move on to the emotional distress part of sure. mine? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, she's sitting over there like she's all you know, innocent and sweet. And, Your Honor, that is not the case. Since I, when I counseled her book on the 29th of March, mm -hmm. she sent me a total of 126 mm -hmm. um, emails. Mm -hmm. And just to give you... Actually, Your Honor, I'm going to let you read it because I highlighted it because I don't want to say it out loud. So... So you want me to say it out loud? <laughs> Let's see. And here's, here's, the, here's the good one, actually. This is the kind of thing that went on for almost from March to October. Okay. How many emails do you have? She, I don't have one? all of them. I didn't, okay. didn't want to bore you, but there was a total of 127, right. and mm -hmm. I have all her greatest hits right yeah. here. So. What's that mean? <laughs> How many? All, 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 of, all of the ones that How were. How many? Um, I have like 11 here. Okay. So. Ma'am, she said you sent her a hundred and a hundred or so emails calling her names. I'm looking at one I where I probably he... did send her a, probably mm -hmm. hundred and twelve or a hundred and forty. Mm -hmm. Sounds like but, harassment. So, but she she sent me emails and I'm the one asked her to not email but me when, the, she, the, when she... she ended my contract. I asked her to don't email me anymore. Mm -hmm. You, you ended the contract. Yes. So we're done. So three days before she the do that? She, Your Honor, I emailed her not on a personal mm -hmm. note, but I emailed her as following through with the contract. Did she ask you not to email her anymore? After like ten of her email, okay. her nasty emails to me. She asked you not to. Yeah. Email after her. I said enough. Yeah. After I said no. <laughs> after I said no. whatever, ma'am. Did she ask you yes, not to email her? And did you ever email her after that? No, I, I, I turned her over to a collections agency. You deny emailing her after she told you to stop. Right. All right, and so this is very simple. You say you have some evidence yes, that she emailed you after you told her the to stop right, and here's because the email. she said no. no such thing happened. Here's the emails that, it, that's some of them that came afterwards, but it's still more. All righty. She found some reason to send me an email. Mm -hmm. Look for an upcoming new release of What Makes You Fat. fat That's her. With added now. That's the name of your book, What Makes You Fat? Yes. <laughs> Most people trying to read books to tell you how to lose weight. <laughs> you telling people you got a book on how to get fat. Uh, well, I guess that's for men who like fat women or no, something. No, no. It's based on abuse. 
Oh, okay. I, I just want to do... know because no. some men like oversized women. <laughs> so you weren't writing for those guys. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. I shouldn't be receiving any more emails from you. This should put an end to it. It surely does for me. All right. No more emails. That's April 25th. Then the next day, April 26th, email from you. <laughs> you wrote that email. Your Honor, it, what, huh? did it, what did it say? Was it in response Whatever to... Whatever it was. You said you didn't send her one at all anymore after that. And yet you did. You said it emphatically. Why are you lying? I'm not lying, Your Honor. Okay, I'm well, you take a look at it for yourself and tell me whether April 26th did it come from Destiny comes Carter after... Yes, or did yes, it... all of that. Yes, it came from the same one that you all have been exchanging over and over and over. Plaintiff Latasha Boswell agreed to publish a book for the defendant, but after working tirelessly on the publication, she claims the defendant used social media to defame her. Your counterclaim, ma'am, how do you go up to $3,000 for this $250 book? <laughs> she published the book. Mm -hmm. But um, somewhere in the midst of her publishing the book, I'm not talking about just one error. Um, on my dedication page, she misspelled Michael Jackson. And every page after that, there's about 25 errors in the book. She sent me a galley, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Right. Just to check. Did you the mark book. it up and say, right. take this back? She said, I don't need you to check it. I have experts working on your book. Everything is great. Okay, wanna... so when she gave it back to you, what did you say? She didn't give me back a galley. She never it. gave you a second no. corrected no. one. No. Ma'am, she said you told her that everything was going to be fine with the corrected version, and you never gave her a corrected version. Your Honor, that is emphatically untrue. This is the galley. <laughs> she never sent me in a corrected galley. Is that true? No, it's not, Your Honor. What did you send when she discussed the galley with you and the corrections necessary? I sent her the second um, electronic version, uh -huh. the second galley, and then I sent her the... Why didn't you send it like you did there? Because I had already printed it, and I wasn't going to print another one. I told her to Why? go ahead and print it. I had already printed one. We only print one galley. Okay. I'm going to get you your money back. $250,000. This the galley is exactly like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want. Y'all want 250,000, 20, or is it 25,000? No. 2,500. 250. That's what I thought. Well, Have a good day. Thank Both you. of your claims of emotional distress are dismissed. Judgment for the counterclaimant for $250, and yours is dismissed. You ladies have a good day. Thank you. I'm sure hope you happy, you evil <laughs> <laughs> You want to give me a hug? No, I want to slap <laughs> out of you is go what right I want to do. No, this man is go, standing here to make sure right I don't ahead. do that. Damn. Do you really want to do this, you overweight, ugly <laughs> when I'm standing here 35 years old? You, you are not you worth me, it. sweetheart. You look like you swallowed Whoopi Goldberg That's is what right, you look sweetie. like.